Sarah. How's it going? You're on MMA Fanatics. Thanks for calling in. Hi. How are you guys doing today? Good. And uh, how about yourself? Pretty good. Just uh, at the gym here in Victoria and finished my lunch. Nice. So uh, I would ask how's your Thanksgiving, but I know that the, uh, the Canadian Thanksgiving was a, a couple weeks ago. But how, yeah, how was I think it was about a month ago. No, a month ago maybe October. Oh wow! So uh, yeah. how, how was that? <laughs> uh, it was pretty good. I'm not really a, a big turkey fan, so I think I just I don't remember exactly what I did, but couldn't have been much. Well, that's all right. No, no problems there. But uh, let's get uh, right down to brass text here. Here with uh, Tim, AJ, and Evan on the MMA Fanatics. Thank you for joining us again. But uh, for my first question to you: uh, You were supposed to fight. Um, on the uh, November 20th uh, Challenger Series for Strike Force against uh, Takayo Hashi. What happened to that fight, and uh, will she still be your next opponent? Uh, I'm hoping that she's still going to be my next opponent. I've been talking with Strike Force, and we're trying to figure out when the next fight is really going to happen. As of right now, they're not 100% sure. Uh, originally, I had been confirmed that I was fighting on the 20th card, so I was in you know training camp for that and getting ready. Uh, and it was versus uh, Takio Hashi. Uh, I could have said her name wrong, though, so I do apologize if I did. Um, yeah, so I was in training for that fight, and then it was pretty confusing. We had a couple people say it's confirmed, and then they sent out a press release, and then it was unconfirmed. Uh, so they said that they're kind of rescheduling it for January, which, as of, far as I know, it's still the plan. We just don't have a date yet. Uh, I'm hoping that at some point Strike Force will put up a title, though, at, at 135. So let's we'll kind of wait and see what happens in the future. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, we we're all looking forward to that fight, so it was uh, unfortunate that it got canceled. So, uh, AJ, go ahead. Cool. Hey, what's going on, Sarah? How you doing? I'm great, thanks. Good, good. Um, actually, I was watching the... Uh, the challenges fight between uh, Kerry Vera and, and Kim Couture. I was wondering yeah. what your thoughts about that, and who were you rooting for before that fight outcome uh, took place? Well, I thought that Kerry would win. I mean, she has a lot of background in the Thai boxing and, and the stand-up style, so Kim not having been around it nearly as much and having the same experience in terms of boxing and Thai boxing fights, you know, Kerry definitely had the advantage there. And she trained to the great camp. So I, I did expect Kerry to win, and I was impressed with what she did. And I thought Kim did some, some good things as well. So for everyone who's kind of criticizing Kim a lot, I, I do think she did some really good things. And I think that, you know, if she does keep training, she does have potential. She's a tough lady. Um, and she's really nice in person. So you can't, you know, you can't be too hard on her. No, nah, not at all. So actually, I would ask a follow-up, uh, no disrespect to Evan and Tim. Um now that Carrie Vera had pulled out to Victor in a fight, would you like a fight with her, or are you just waiting for whoever they give you? I mean, really, I'll wait for whoever they give me. Carrie's only had a couple fights in MMA, so I think her whole plan is to build herself up a little bit more, which is a smart way to go. For me, honestly, I will fight whoever they put in front of me. I'd rather just fight every month. Um, you know, so if there are fighters at 135 and, you know, Strike Force is able to put those fights on, I am all in. Cool. Fair enough. Thanks, Sarah. Those yeah, were no some uh, excellent uh, politically correct answers. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll kick it over to Evan. Uh, <laughs> sure. Hey, Sarah. What's going on? This is Evan. Uh, hopefully all is well for you. Um, oh, it is? Thank you. Uh, it's good to hear. Um, I just want to get your thoughts on this because this, you're the first women's MMA fighter we've had on the show. And uh, Dana White has, has made some comments uh, of women's MMA fighting saying the reason – that we haven't seen it in the UFC or WC, uh, respectfully, is that because he doesn't believe there's that many good women's fighters out there. You know, there's not enough good fighters to make uh, a weight class uh, or make a weight class big, so to say. Do you agree with uh, Dana White's assessment there? I think that's a big cop-out. Um, I mean, I think what he's saying in terms of, you know, well, he wanted Gina Carano to fight, and he wanted to have a whole bunch of Gina Carano versus other people, um, especially once Gina Carano was on a roll and, you know, fighting at 140 pounds and having the smaller girls come up. 145 is a harder division because there aren't as many females walking around at that weight. You have to think, if you're fighting 145, you're probably walking around somewhere between 160 and 170, which for an in-shape female is generally on the higher end. So they're 
aren't as many women in the 145 division, but 135 is a stacked division. There are tons of females at 135, 125. You know, they're more than just a handful. There are a large group of females and more and more each day. Um, and then, I mean, 105, 115, especially in Japan, is huge with just some great talent. So in terms of not having enough fighters to make a legitimate division is – yeah, it's just a joke, really. It's really his call. He just, for whatever reason, doesn't want to have women right now. Strikeforce is doing a great job of um, having women on the show. I mean, I'd like to see even more getting out there, but I think that's all coming. So as far as UFC, it would be great, but who knows what's going on in Dana's head right now. Yeah, I would tend to agree. I, I think, uh, like you said, 135 is absolutely stacked, of course, your weight class. So I would tend to agree with you. And hopefully one day we'll see you and another fighter such as Maisha Tate and, and Shayna Baszler, uh, just to name a few in the UFC as well. Yeah, it would be, a, it would be great. Absolutely. I think we can all agree on that. Um, I mean, you, you mentioned, you and Evan both mentioned the, the stackedness, I guess you could say, of the 135-pound women's division. Um, there's been some rumors kind of recently and uh, a couple of months ago that Strikeforce would put on maybe a, a tournament at that weight to crown a champion, I would assume. Uh, would you be interested in that kind of format? Would you rather just go in go in there and beat another top woman in your division in uh, a five-round fight? I mean, I think the five-round fight is better. I think for me, I mean, I've already had a couple wins in Strikeforce, and I think I've shown that I'm, you know, deserving of being on the higher level in the roster. So for me, I really would like to fight for that title. I, I like the five-minute rounds. I like the five five-minute rounds. I think it's awesome. I really think it it is what a title fight should be. It should be those five five-minute rounds. Mm-hmm. And then the tournament style, I think it does sometimes take away from kind of everything that could happen, you know, for whoever's crowned the, the title holder. You know, so many different things can happen in a tournament. People get injured. Um, They're not fighting at their best because they've already had a fight right before. So for the fans, it's probably entertaining. But as a fighter, I think I personally would prefer to fight for the title. And then maybe have they have a tournament and the winner of the tournament fights for the title. You know, they could do something like that as well, just so they have that break before the actual title fight's on the line. Yeah, I definitely can uh, can understand where you're coming from there. So, uh, AJ, uh, shoot. Uh, I think I asked out my my question. Oh, man. <laughs> um, okay, well, I, I, I listened to you talk about uh, Baina White's uh, uninterest in, uh, in a woman's division, and uh, I'll ask you this. Um, for being a strike force fighter, um, su- you know, supporting women's MMA, do you think it would be possible to have other organizations competing as big as the, the UFC and, and Strike Force, you know, like a smaller show. Do you think it's possible to have women's MMA uh, being that diverse into different organizations where they can have merged shows, like in, say, a year or two years' time from, from the uh, the success, I guess, of Strike Force so far? It's a weird question, I know, but... I, I do understand what you're saying, though. I, I think that would be great if that could happen, although I don't know if it would happen. I, you know, I think, especially with the UFC being such a big brand, they don't like to loan their fighters out to do inter-organization fights. So I think that would make it difficult in terms of if you had Strike Force and UFC both really pushing the women. I do think it would be hard to have the women from the UFC and the women from the Strike Force fight each other. That being said, I mean, the UFC is obviously the biggest stage for MMA, so I don't think there would be many girls that would turn down um, an opportunity to fight for the UFC just because it is on that that one step up. But for now, you know, Strike Force, it's on TV, it's on, you know, they have a CBS deal. It's an awesome platform for women's fighting. So even if just Strike Force just keeps maintaining and improving on what they're already doing, would be awesome. 